Hey, it's me, Michael Anthony Judicici. Welcome to All Things Billy the Kid. Nice to see you again. I actually can't see you. I just <laughs> kind of look at the screen of myself right there. But uh, hopefully some of you are out there. So i got something fun for you today. Uh, our good friend Nick, TF Nick from Germany, has been uh, doing these AI photos, artificial intelligence photos of uh, Billy the Kid. And uh, wow, my headphones, there we go. Uh, and he's done some really cool stuff. And I'll just go over quickly the reason why I like it, because I do think that there are other photos of Billy. Uh, there's probably one or two other ones that we've already seen, but we're most likely never, ever going to be able to prove it. Um, beyond any reasonable doubt. I think we're stuck with the, not stuck, I think we're left with the tintype, or Bill Koch is left with the tintype. Uh, and, and I think that's the one that will go down for the rest of history as definitively being Billy the Kid, except for you know, those people that don't believe it or think he was dead already or whatever. So because of that, you can look at any photo that kind of looks like Billy and you can go, okay, well, I think that's him. And that's cool. I, I've said that. I, I think you should do that. If you want it to be Billy, then let it be Billy. Make it your screensaver, put it on your phone, print it out and hang it on the wall. I mean, do something because that to you is the epitome of Billy the kid. But, but um, the, the chance of seeing another photo of him where you get an alternate look and it being a hundred percent sure that it's him, I think is zero. <clears throat> so uh, Nick has been doing these AI photos and based off essentially the tin type. And I think it's such a cool way for us to get an alternate look at what Billy probably looked like. And so he sent even more, you saw the last two that he did, um, dapper AI Billy, well-dressed Fort Sumner on his way to a dance. Uh, and then you saw, you know, probably uh stinking Springs Billy with the, you know, sombrero and the, you know, the green rim around it. Uh, but he's done a couple more for us and some uh, outside of uh, just Billy the Kid. So let's take a look and see what Nick has come up with. This is, uh, I'll call this traditional AI Billy. And there he is, yeah, right from the uh, right from the tin type. Uh, you know, the clothes might be not exactly the right color. I don't really understand color spotting or anything like that. I can't tell you what color something was in a black and white photo, but I can tell you that uh, if you wanted a clean, clear photograph of what Billy probably looked like before the tin type photographer pressed the button or you know flashed that powder or whatever the heck they do. This is probably pretty close to it. Um, Billy's got the red bandana on. Uh, he's got, you know, kind of the rounded chin. He's got a little bit of a uh, little scruff there, um, which is cool. Looks like he's got some freckles probably from being out in the sun, maybe. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I think this this uh, this Billy the Kid is a is a good looking dude. Um and I can understand why the women of Fort Sumner and Anton Chico and Sunnyside and uh, Bessanta Rosa went went nuts over him. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's not my type, but <laughs> you get the idea. So I really like this one because it removes a lot of the imperfections of the uh, uh, of the tin type. Now, I think Nick prettied Billy up a little bit here, and uh, you know he he <laughs> he he did Billy a couple favors, um, but. Still, I think that this is a, a really good representation of kind of what Billy the Kid would have looked like if you were able to meet him or if you could time travel back to see him. Uh, but there's more uh, because here is the not, <laughs> the not so glamorous Billy. All right. Here's the one where I think Nick, you know, maybe went eh, slightly to the other side. And this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a smiling Billy. Uh, now, look, Billy was known to be a happy-go-lucky guy, and uh, he was known to have front teeth that you know didn't didn't quite fit the way they were supposed to in his mouth, and that's probably what you got here. But I but I dig the smile, right? So here, Billy's dressed the same, um, yet he's got the the uh, bandana 
uh, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the sombrero with the green rim. And again, it's not a green hat band only because if Nick put it there, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, but here, Billy's got the jacked up teeth um, and, uh, but he's smiling, you know, and, and, and still a pleasant looking fellow. I think you could go out on the street, I don't know, today and go to your local, I don't know, shopping mall or, or a grocery store or wherever and find a guy that looks like this. I think you could go in any major city and probably find 10 guys that look like this. Um, and if you got him to smile, they'd probably look a lot like that. But I, I really liked this one because it humanizes Billy more like the The first one here. Yeah, it's Billy. He's serious. He's staring at the camera. He's pondering maybe his future or maybe he's just going, I wish to hell the guy would take this photo already. But here, Billy's getting you caught him in, you know, in the middle of a joke or just before the punchline or uh, I don't know. He uh, he saw somebody trip and fall, you know, in the one of his enemies in Fort Sumner, uh, or he's thinking about going and getting a green chili cheeseburger at the owl bar and <laughs> cafe in San Antonio, New Mexico. I don't know. Um, but I thought this one was really cool. So thanks to Nick for these two new Billy photos, but we are not done because there is another Billy. Now we have the Coke photo as confirmed. We've talked a lot about the, uh, uh, the croquet Billy photo. And so Nick decided to have his own input into croquet Billy. And would you like to meet him? And again, if you look at the actual croquet photo, I mean, half of the face is all blurry, indistinct. It's tough to tell what that person would look like. So Nick has helped us out. And there he is, croquet Billy. What do you think? I dig the colors of the sweater. I mean, that's that's like the, uh, well, what are they now? The Washington, I don't even know what they are. Generals, the football team. They used to be the Redskins. I mean, that's kind of their colors. Um, I, I like the little bow tie and the, the collared shirt. Um, I like the hat. It almost has a greenish tint. Um, but tell me, and, and this is, I, I looked as soon as Nick sent this to me, I went back to the, the, uh, the the tin type and he also sent me a comparison and this is pretty much what that guy looks like the jaw is fixed on this uh illustration right because the jaw is amorphic uh in the uh in the actual tin type so he fixed that does it look like billy looks like uh do you remember the little rascals i mean that was <laughs> it was even before my time but they showed it when i was a kid Looks kind of like Alfalfa from the Little Rascals. Um, he just needed the little cowlick um, to stand up. Does it look like Billy? I wonder. Uh, you know, when I looked at these two, uh, you know, kind of next to each other, I thought, mm, I'm not, I'm not really sure. So let's do that. Let's get rid of uh, jacked up teeth, Billy, and let's. Uh... It certainly could be the same guy. I mean, there's no saying that it couldn't be. I mean, they have similar looks. Um, th again, th these are AI recreations, so you can't go based off all the detail. But you could convince me, if you wanted to, that this guy two years later turned into this guy. Uh, but this guy looks really, really young in this, uh, in this illustration. And the the subject in the actual croquet kid tintype also looks very young, just a two year difference. Now, how young and how old when, were they when these were taken? Well, I'm glad you asked that because Monday, next Monday, I will be in Capitan, New Mexico, uh, just outside of Lincoln. And I will be recording an interview with Brandon Dixon where we dig through the latest evidence on the age of Billy the Kid and this guy right here, this croquet kid, may not be far off from what we think Billy's age was at that time. So what do you think when you look at these? Do you look at the croquet kid and then look to the right and go, it could be the same guy? Or do you go, no, completely different guy? Now, I will tell you that Nick had to reconstruct the chin here because it just doesn't appear clearly enough in the croquet photo. And of course, he made it, you know, look similar in shape to Billy's chin. Um, but, uh, you know, aside from that, 
And I don't know how accurate the ears are, but because again, the croquet photo is really indistinct. Um, but the ears, you know, look similar. We've got these detached ear lobes. So there you go. There's the uh, a really wonderful portrait of the AI croquet kid, Billy. Do you think we're done? We're not done. We're not done. There's another Billy out there, uh, or, may, or maybe not. Um, and this Billy goes under the name of William Henry Oliver Partridge Brushy Bill Roberts. So Nick did a, a, a youngerization, <laughs> I don't know what it was, a Benjamin Button, on the uh, kind of famous photo of uh, Brushy. I guess it's supposed to be him. I, 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 I guess it is. Uh, when he was about 24 years old, dark hair, swarthy, um, those kind of things. And he youngified, <laughs> making these up as I go, that photo to, you know, to fit somebody that would be in their, you know, late teens or so. Um, and uh, I, I think he's that 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 brushy has the, you know, the dark mustache and those kind of things. But I think he's actually done a pretty nice job here, um, because if you go look at that photo, you'll see brushy had the, you know, kind of a squarer face. He had the dimpled chin. Um, the, uh, just stronger features, the ears, uh, you know, don't, uh, don't exactly look like this, but okay. So now let's go and put brushy young brushy next to Billy. Can you make this leap? Can you go? This guy is this guy here. Uh, you know, I, some people are going to say yes. Some people are going to say no. And again, of course, this is an AI version of, uh, the brushy photo and, and, specifically made to make him look younger so that he might fit the time frame of Billy. So I could see somebody going, yeah, I, I think they're the same. I, I think these guys look alike. Um, but uh, I don't know. If you look at the real photos of the real Billy and the real brushy, brushy at 24 and Billy at whatever age he may have been, 17, 18 in uh, Fort Sumner, then they look dramatically different, but these guys don't look that far off to me. You know, this guy gets a little uh, hair dye, you know, darkens up his hair, gets uh, his, you know, uh, face kind of roughed up maybe, you know, from just living out on the, uh, uh, living out on the range. Um, yeah, maybe one could be the other. Um, so I think Nick did a nice job of, of uh, re recreating a younger looking brushy from a time we don't have. There are pictures of brushy when he is younger and uh, uh, yeah. And he, he just looks darker overall than this guy, this light haired kind of, you know, blue eyed guy, but uh, nice job there, Nick on that. Okay. Are we done? No, <laughs> no, we're not. Nick went crazy on this. I assume Nick has a job. He's a younger guy. Maybe he's independently wealthy and doesn't need to work, but, and I don't know how much time this takes, but it strikes me that it's probably takes a lot of time and detail to get these things uh, right. And he's sent me, Hey, here's early version. Don't do this. Don't, don't show this. So it's not like he just sits down at once and does it. Um, but Nick's spending a lot of time on this. And so he's given us our first ever, first ever uh, photograph of that's right. Um, Alexander McSween and his business partner, John Henry Tunstall. Yeah. All right. Now that is Alex Mc. I mean, that is Tunstall. Um, I like the, uh, outfit. Uh, I think that maybe is a four in hand tie, uh, if I'm correct. And Tunstall's got the white hat on, uh, you know, it looks looking jaunty. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he looks hopeful, expectant. Um, yeah, that's cool. McSween. <laughs> I don't know what McSween looks like. I mean, this is, is pretty good. There's, you have the famous photo of McSween and then you have the painting of him. So, and there's, there is a disparity between the way that those two people look. And I know Nick tried to, uh, you know, kind of split the distance between them. This McSween looks like a preacher. looks like he's, you know, a priest. He's got a white collar on, I think. Um, and he's got the the mustache. Uh, he's got the hair. It looks like the hair even has some reddish highlights, which could be McSweenish. And he's a little bit older, which is good. He's got a few lines in the forehead. 
Um, but uh, yeah, that, there's the AI recreations of uh, business partners and, and both killed within five months of each other. John Henry Tunstall and Alexander McSween. I wonder in this what they'd be looking at. They're probably staring across the street at the Tunstall store being built and Tunstall looks hopeful and McSween's got a look in his eye like, oh crap, this might not have been a good idea. Um, and uh, But they're probably looking forward to taking over the economy of Lincoln County and uh, getting half of every dollar that is earned by anyone, as Tunstall said in his letter to his father. Half of every dollar earned by anyone in the county, Tunstall aimed to get. The benevolent, calm, gentle John Tunstall was a ruthless businessman. He just didn't live long enough to see his plans uh, come to fruition. But let's go out on this. Uh, this is my favorite of them all. This is Smiling Jacked Up Tooth Billy. And uh, I want to say thanks to Nick for uh, all the hard work. Uh, he's got a John Miller, a youngified John Miller um, uh, photo, AI photo in the works. I've seen the early version of it. Um, that'll take some more work. And when, you know, when we get them, we'll bring them to you. So uh, what do you think? Well, tell me in the comments. Uh, you did, did Nick uh, hit it out of the park or did he swing and miss on some of these? Which one's your favorite? Uh, would you recognize these guys? If you walked through old Lincoln and saw them now, would you be able to pick them out immediately in a crowd? In other words, do we know their faces well enough to do that? And does anyone, has anyone invented a time machine so we could actually try that out? That would be very cool too. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you. Hey, do me a favor. Um, so hit the subscribe and like button, share the video would be great. Head on over to Amazon, check out the back to Billy book series written by moi. And uh, we'll see you next time uh, with uh, more great photos, uh, movies, facts, history, uh, really all things Billy the kid. And that's why the show's called what it's called. We'll see you. Bye.